What's going on guys, Spencer here with HM Massage. Back with another video, this is gonna be another muscle knot release video. So my biggest video shows what it's kind of like to break up a muscle adhesion, or as people refer to them as muscle knots. And I had another video where I found we released another muscle knot in the upper neck, upper back area, and it had some good signs, even better than the last video. So I will shrink down and let's take a look. So of course, just like every massage, we always start with warming up their body, warming up their back, because generally muscle knots are lying deep. And so we have to get through them by getting through the top layers of connective tissue and muscle. So with this client, we're focusing on the upper back. We're doing some long effleurage strokes, broad, very light, very Swedish. As we kind of tune in on the area, we're also starting broad and we're getting specific as we go. And in before a bunch of people say muscle knots aren't real, it's kind of semantics. I understand that muscles don't form a knot like a pretzel, but we're talking about adhesions and we're talking about muscle fibers, fascicles that have stuck together. But here's a good warm up technique, taking the knuckles, warming the upper trapezius, working into the deep levator muscles, getting into some of the suboccipitals as well. This just feels good anyway, muscle knot or no muscle knot release, but it's also starting to really bring about that blood flow, that hyperemia, and warming up the tissue so that we can then go very deep. I do want to say that this muscle knot is going to be much more subtle than my first video a couple years back. And that's for a couple reasons. Number one is because as a therapist, I have gotten better at releasing muscle knots layer by layer, as opposed to one big chunk. And so the release is also gonna be much more subtle because we are going very incrementally. The second reason is in that video a couple years back, it was a release, but it was also a little bit of a muscle contraction in which it fought back against me. And that's once again due to the inexperience. Nowadays, I can warm up the muscle knot a lot more to where the muscle fiber is almost not going to fight against me at all before I get the release. Now we're jumping to more specific work where we're really starting to focus on the area. I had already felt this adhesion, so I knew I wanted to work it. Almost everybody has an adhesion or muscle knot right there, but really taking my fingers, starting to pinpoint the area, give it some good, long holding pressure. Starting to work really deep, and I'm making sure to run the entire length of the muscle. I'm not just hitting the adhesed area, I'm working both attachments, the base, and making sure I'm gonna release the entirety of the muscle. And this muscle just happens to be levator scapula. That is a really good hold there, and now we zoom in to the very specific, very deep massage, and we're gonna be using the forearm and elbow in order to get that release. So here we go, bringing up my ulna side of the forearm using that nice sharp bone as the object, as the tool, and hooking in with my electronon process, that's your elbow. Sitting there, and let's take a look. Right there. Started to let go, we shake into it, and there it let go. And you see that because my forearm then followed through without the same pressure. Let's take another look. It's very subtle, but you can see that same muscle fiber contraction, but it lets go. And you'll see that slight muscle twitch. You have to look very closely. And then you can also see my forearm and elbow as it was pressed against the muscle knot, it was finding resistance. So I was generating the same forward pressure both times, but my elbow and forearm did not go forward at all. And then once the muscle knot released, my forearm and elbow were able to slide through like butter. Then of course, like every other massage, 
We're gonna cool them down, make nice to the area you did a lot of deep tissue work with, and continue on with the massage. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. I will see you guys on the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day.